and welcome to another vlog <laughs> so hello it's currently wednesday january 26th and a lot went on this morning <laughs> as you can see this eyelid is droopy right now i just had a chalazian removal and so it is completely numb right now <laughs> this is uh what it's looking like I'll put some before pictures of what my Chalazian looks like here. Took the whole day off because obviously I can't see any patients when I'm like this. It's very fascinating how they do it. Um, he got me numb with lidocaine and then used a clamp to invert my upper eyelid and then just excised it. And then he scooped it out with a spoon excavator. I'll insert a picture here of what he scooped out. Very satisfying, I guess. But yeah, it was just this huge bump on my upper eyelid that is now going to heal nicely. I just have to stay like this for the rest of the day. I was going to get a lot of other work done today, but because this is going on, I think I'm just gonna take it easy and rest my eye. I do have an endo patient tomorrow morning scheduled. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet. He said that I should be okay to see the patient tomorrow because today I'll just have swollen eye, but then tomorrow I should be okay. I really wanna see the patient tomorrow because I'm finishing up that root canal and I don't wanna cancel last minute, but I also don't wanna bring her in if I can't see. So we'll see how it goes. But just wanted to share my Chalazian removal experience. Currently Wednesday afternoon, the day after my eye surgery and my eye looks completely normal now. Not droopy anymore, all of the anesthetic wore off. No paresthesia, which is always a good thing. And I'm currently on the way to a new gym that just opened and I am a member of. So I'm gonna get the workout in. I did finish my root canal today. The patient was happy. Uh, this was her first root canal ever and so she gave me good feedback that it wasn't as bad as she thought it was gonna be, which is always a good thing. So I'm just gonna drive to the gym right now, pick up my classmate, Elaha, and we are gonna go work out together. Made it to the gym with Elaha. F45, Linwood, about to do this workout. Are you ready? We're gonna die. <laughs> just finished the workout and um, sweating a lot. How did that feel, Laura? How was that workout? I'm literally dead. <laughs> you did so good, you did so good. So today's session was a cardio session. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, one set at each station, four laps for each pod. We had three pods today, a total of 45 minutes, and that was that. Today's, today's uh, athletica session was focused on targeting and reducing the body fat mass, all right? So that was today, you did amazing. Starting February 7th, we're gonna have our grand opening and you guys can come and try out. Uh, we're gonna have our trial uh, trial session, seven days. You can, you can sign up for that and come try us out then. I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in signing up for F45 Linwood. Woohoo! Yeah. See you guys soon! <laughs> this gym is so nice, it's the largest F45 location in the US and it just opened so it's very nice in here what a <laughs> it is Friday morning now I am in the student lounge it's completely empty <laughs> um, eating my chicken bake for lunch just finished oral surgery session this morning I extracted tooth number 14 it went really well um, yeah, it came out simple, but I had to give it a lot of buckle pressure because the palatal root was super stubborn. So, whenever you're extracting teeth, make sure that you get really good buccal lingual mobility before doing your figure eights and just like trying to get that out. Um, I got really good elevation beforehand, so I just needed more buccal pressure and then it came out super easy. It was a good morning. Um, in the afternoon, I've got Tooth number 31 MOB, composite filling, I believe. So I'm gonna do that and yeah, it's gonna be a long Friday, but actually, hopefully it's not a long Friday because hopefully I can get that filling done pretty quickly. Chicken bake is so good. It's currently seven in the morning and I'm at school. Because super last minute, we have a fixed press competency for bridge number three to five prep. I'm 
done with my prep. Hi, Nusha. Hi. What'd you do today? I had an endo consult. It's going to be a root canal. <laughs> So I'm in the endo clinic. I just started access on number 30 today. I just opened it up and confirmed working length. Got that. And that is it for today. It kind of took a while to get working length down. It's been fun being an endo. I'm gonna head over to Elaha's to work out. And that's it. Good morning, I am in the urgent care clinic with no patient this morning, so one of my classmates, Sam, also does not have a patient and he feels like he possibly might have a cavity. So he asked me if I could take some x-rays and I will do that now. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. <laughs> so I think I might have a cavity. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that? Because I was brushing my teeth the other day and I looked in the mirror and I just happened to see some shadowing on one of my teeth. <laughs> So we'll see if there is some carries there. Here's some two. Sure. Right, just one one. Yeah. And then maybe since we have another size one, just the upper right interiors. Okay. I, think, I, I used to think I had a cavity there. <laughs> Basically it'll be everything besides posterior PAs and the upper left interior. Okay. How are they looking? Looking all right. <laughs> no huge cavities. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he has any cavities. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you're a dental student. You're just paranoid about everything. Right. Okay, I'm in the lounge now. And Johnny's here all by himself. <laughs> What'd you have this morning? I was a runner today, so I helped out. Got supplies for people. So runner is when you don't have a patient scheduled and so you basically run the aisles. You're walking around and seeing if anyone needs help or anyone needs supplies and then you grab it for them. You're basically an assistant. Um, and I guess that's all he did this morning but I didn't really do that much either. I'm gonna eat lunch now. I just have leftover sandwich from last night. Not very exciting. Today is Wednesday, February 17th. Currently at the geriatric clinic. We are just waiting for our attending a little tour of our clinic. Good morning, Dr. Jeffrey. Good morning. So here are the nice <laughs> operatories. <laughs> yes. I think you're in three then. Three. Yeah, you're in chair three. Alright. Hello, Laura. Good morning. What are you guys doing today? A follow-up. For, follow -up. for alveoplasty. Yes. That chin did last week. I'm paired up with Kelsey today. Uh, we're gonna do a periodic exam, probably a perioman, and then probably one restorative filling today. Should be good. Hopefully she shows. This is our assistant Callie. Hello, pre dental. Pre dental student. Oh Kelsey's just finishing up our soap note. Blurry. There we go. So Kelsey's finishing up our soap note. Um, how'd it go? It went well. Actually, Laura did most of it. She did the cleaning. I did the cleaning. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to the filling, so. Oh, okay. it's yeah, there. but we'll be seeing the same patient again yes. next Wednesday, so it'll be good. Well, what's she doing, Mina? Uh, organizing the <laughs> So we already ate lunch. The morning appointment went well. Our, there's quite a few patients in the afternoon that have no showed. And so our task now is organizing the cabinet. <laughs> because we love Dr. Jeffrey so much. This is what I do before I go home. Any way that we can help. I don't know how you got that. It's done. Good job, Mina. It was mainly you, dude. Those burrs. Everything's all organized, right? Okay, so I am home now. I actually went to go 
work out after the geriatric clinic. Went to stop by the grocery store and I was craving pasta for some reason and so I really wanted to try, oh my gosh, bad lighting. I really wanted to try that TikTok pasta trend and so I went to the store, bought some grape tomatoes, Greek feta cheese, basil, um, some rigatoni pasta, and currently in the process of cooking it. I'm um, kind of got hungry too, so I have been obsessed with this snack. I also stopped at Trader Joe's and got this smoked salmon dip. And I buy a package of the Persian cucumbers with it at Trader Joe's and literally just snack on it. Um, so like here you can see, I've got my cut up cucumbers and some dip. The main ingredient of the dip is cream cheese, but the cucumbers make me feel somewhat healthy. And it's like so good. The Belch snack. And the oven just went off. There it is. Just put tomatoes with olive oil, salt, pepper, and then feta cheese. It's been baking for about half an hour at 400 degrees. So now we're going to broil high, I think. Start. Boiled my pasta. Saved some pasta water. And then I've got this basil that I need to chop up. Call me a chef. Also bought pre-made garlic bread and going to bake this. Actually, I should probably do that now. This smells so good. Time to mix it all up. Add some red pepper flakes and the basil and pasta. Got two dogs at home right now. My apartment neighbor needed me to watch miso for two hours, so he's over here keeping Mango entertained. They were playing hard earlier. Now they're way more chill. But they're so cute! Good boys! I ate everything before I showed it. Verdict, it is good. All right, so I'm currently in the endo clinic. I'm seeing my patient to complete root canal number 30 today. Last time we instrumented and got to the master apical file. So, ready to fill today. Here's the setup. Got a pressure, blood pressure, temperature, ring kits. And over here, the cassette, files, rotary, this, that. Ready to go. This morning, I was in oral surgery with Mina, and I assisted her on her extraction number 21, and it went great. She finished in like 10 minutes, <laughs> and the crown didn't break off, which is crazy, so good job, Mina. Thank you. <laughs> this is Ali. He's in the gold foil selective this quarter. So he's just working on a type it on here. What are you doing? So we have these pieces of gold that are covered in wax. And basically you melt off the wax and then you want to condense it into your prep. And this is just the start, but afterwards you get a really nice polish. And it's amazing because the margins are always perfect. Wow, that looks so cool. Hello. How's yours looking? It's alright. You want to see me light up this flame? Oh, they're like pellets. Yeah. Oh, interesting. On them, so you can melt it off. So I will close the vlog here. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more dental school vlogs. I am gonna do my best to try uploading more often because I'm going through the process of you know, trying to figure out licensing right now and finding a job and just preparing for graduation and I wanna document this journey. And so I will try my best to vlog more. Okay, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.